St. James Academy in Solana Beach is one of less than 50 schools or districts in the nation to receive the Green Ribbon Award from the U.S. Department of Education this year and the only one in San Diego County. It's the gold standard when it comes to going green and the product of a union of science and faith. What can you tell me about that soil? Getting dirty is just part of the deal at St. James Academy in Solana Beach. Other schools, you don't really get the chance to be outside a lot, maybe during a recess or lunch. This gardening program is part of the school's commitment to going green. Sustainability director Anne Marie Oldham says they're simply following the lead of Pope Francis. It's something that's basic to most every faith, which is that we all have a duty to take care of the earth and take care of the poor. St. James has reduced asphalt and grass, gone solar, put in LED lights, and installed filling stations to eliminate single-use water bottles. Actually, the kids pointed out to me they couldn't actually fill their water bottles in our old drinking fountains. This would be great for our compost bin. But it's the lessons learned here in the garden that are really taking root. Our world right now is kind of in a crisis with like climate change and stuff, and like we're going to be the generation that's going to solve it. Well, they're part of the legume family. And Young students um, learn about soil, plants, and you. bugs, and the science behind it all, with master gardener uh, and volunteer Linda Martinez-Haley leading the way. See, there are three gardens here. We have an edible garden, we have a Native American kumeyaay garden, and we have a pollinator monarch garden, uh, soon to be a certified monarch way station. Monarchs are guests of honor with lots of milkweed, crucial for their survival. I've never seen them leave it on top like that. Eggs are laid on the leaves, which become food for the caterpillars, who have a protected home in which to transform. We've got two little guys, and it looks like this guy's gotten kind of sluggish. I think he's on his way to make a chrysalis. And once butterflies, they feed on the nectar and pollinate plants that produce food. I think when they see where it comes from, somehow that makes them a little more comfortable trying new foods, especially vegetables. Pinch with one hand, pull with the other. They're actually looking at and touching and smelling and feeling what they're learning. And there's nothing better for a child than to have that integrated experience, um, to integrate all the senses and um, to be able to learn something that feeds the world, that feeds us, that protects the environment. You don't really think about the time because like, you're just having fun and you're just kind of like relaxed. Relaxed students having fun while learning. You could say the flowers aren't the only things blooming in this garden. Just being outside, growing your own food, being active, being in nature, all of it has a, a really positive impact on their self-esteem and their happiness, and mine too. If you'd like more information about St. James Academy and their Green Ribbon Award or about the Master Gardener Association, go to our, web, our website, cbs8.com, and hit the hot button. What a great program. They, they were having a lot of fun, yeah. and they were eating right out of the garden right there, snap peas and strawberries. And learning so many different things. They know how to do soil analysis. Yeah, wow. Impressive stuff. It is.